wash your color for a minute, now you black again. Yeah, I'm on a blockchain with it, and my blockchain muck is full of octane in them. You know the vibe, plus we shredded than a motherfucker. Back a duck, a back a duck, a back a duck, a back a duck. Yeah, 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 we crash monkeys. Yeah, yeah, we crash monkeys. It go planet of the apes, gorillas in a mess. All these bad rooms all over my shit. It go planet of. And so, ladies and gentlemen, before we get to the juicy part of the steak, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsors. Lumi Wealth using algorithms to make investing easier and more profitable. What is going on, blockchain monkeys? And you can hear us. Thank you for coming to my jungle. First of all, I'm no financial advisor whatsoever. No, I'm a professional in blockchain technology. But there's one thing that I absolutely will do, and that's give you my opinion. So today, we're going to get into XDC because they just continue to keep on building. Okay. And also, we got a little word from Rosie Rios. And what is Gary Gensler talking about? Coming after Kimmy K. What's up with that? Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Rosie Rios. I'm Rosie Rios, former Treasury of the United States and current board member of Ripple. What I like to talk about is really kind of this intersection between government and innovation. Certainly coming from the Bay Area, born and raised in Silicon Valley, I've seen a lot of change over time. And what I love is the conversation is really starting to happen in a constructive way where I think we as a region we as a country and perhaps we as a globe can really think about the future of fintech and who the stakeholders are and how we can make this effective for everyone. So when you think about growth, it's not just kind of GDP growth, which of course is a big part of the economy, but it's also where new growth comes from. And that usually comes from certainly lately in technology and innovation. So I think the benefit of why business and government should be working together is again, providing that level of certainty for further expansion further growth, and certainly more jobs for the economy. So blockchain is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. And so she said it's here to stay. It's not just how to facilitate commerce. There are other applications, uh, whether it's NFTs, whether it's, you know, selling real estate, whether it's, you know, any type of financial ledger that can be recorded uh, for posterity's sake. This is here to stay. And it's, it's important and incumbent upon the government at every level, whether it's local, whether it's state, whether it's national, to really get some thought as to how those applications are going to benefit them and benefit everyone. But I think what's most important is what are those guardrails? What are those tracks that we can lay down in order to move forward in a way that really blazes the trail for future growth and future opportunities? XRP. Let's go. And so, ladies and gentlemen, come on over here to SEC Gary Gens Gens, okay? SEC staff is fuming over Gensler's self-promotion on a Kardashian case. Some in the enforcement division say Gary Gensler was publicity seeking. What? Some members of the Security and Exchange Commission enforcement staff are accusing their boss, Gary Gensler, of publicity seeking. Like, what is going on here, Gary? What earthly enforcement staff, the attorneys who developed the case brought against uh, Kardashian, was that Gensler appeared to take credit for the case solo on national television. They also say he embellished its importance to gain publicity for himself. What is going on here? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm done here. But as you can see here, Gary, get to stepping. So got to give a huge shout out to Collecti and everyone over there at the Non-Fungible Show. I had a complete blast. Absolutely amazing time. Huge shout out to Jackie and everyone over there. Amazing, amazing. And I cannot wait to do it again. And so a huge shout out to Health Bank Dow and everything that they're doing for health with XDC. Huge, huge thanks for them. Um, I'm absolutely loving being a part of this beta group. Absolutely amazing. Are you Web3 developer looking to help build a new healthcare system? Health Bank Dow Elite Web3 will be looking together with Codex, okay, to provide developers with an opportunity to join, earn bounties, and even get new job opportunities. Take a look. And so coming in hot from the XDC Foundation, we're officially a video game. You see it, ladies and gentlemen, as it creeps into the mainstream. And over here, we got advisor to XDC, Andre Kasserman, spoke about the network uh, the ITFA Worldwide Trade Finance Forum 2022 as part of the TFD initiative. Andre discussed the tokenization of trade assets. You better know what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. What is coming down the pipeline right now? Are you present to what is actually happening? XRC20 tokens are available now on Fireblocks. 
Users can now store XRC20 tokens in their Fireblocks vault, transfer XRC20 tokens on their Fireblocks network, and utilize any dApp built for XDC through DeFi app or wallet connect. And so I know I haven't done a watch pay video in a long time, but a huge shout out to them for actually building during this bear market coming in hot at Cybos. Our founder and CEO Anish will be presenting payments in the metaverse, a huge opportunity for banks at Cybos discovery stage. The metaverse ecosystem depends on digital currencies, which are subject to different regulatory framework to fiat currency. Huge shout out to him, Anish, and the whole WTK squad. And so I keep telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it is okay to be early. Coming in, how from Globans, you have Oliver La Rosa, first sex, based on XDC, first deflationary exchange token ever, first DEX on XDC, first launch pad on XDC, first stable coin on XDC, and it continues. Link in description. And so, ladies and gentlemen, before I let you go, got to hit you with this. Just got banged in the head with it, okay? The XDC network secures 50 million fund from the LDA capital. The fund raised will be used to accelerate the expansion and development of layer two projects across the XDC ecosystem and to facilitate network adoption and real world utility. Here come the builders, okay? The founders of the XDC network has leveraged a portion of their personal token allocation to secure a 50 million commitment from the global alternative investment group, LDA Capital. Now let's take a look at who these people are. Coming in hot, we provide dynamic financing solutions to high growth and capital intensive businesses globally. But I wanted to take a look at their portfolio real quick. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, they are not playing around. You can AgriFi here, Aussie Corporation, BrainChip. Come on over here. You got the United States Confident Cannabis. You better say it right up our lane, okay? And it just keeps on going here, ladies and gentlemen. Big, 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 big deal here, okay? Now, what I'd like to know is do you have experience and is it enough to move the needle? Coming in hot, LDA Capital is a global alternative investment group with expertise in cross-border transactions worldwide. OK, it has a team that has dedicated their careers to international and cross-border opportunities, having collectively executed over 250 transactions in growth stage businesses across 43 countries with aggregate transaction values over 11 billion claimed by the platform in a statement. And let's not forget the XDC network is an open source, carbon neutral, enterprise grade EVM compatible layer one blockchain that has been operationally successful since 2019 as per the statement. When you're looking at these cryptos, right, aren't you looking for quality? Of course you are. Don't forget like, uh, come on, it's just got, uh, I, I, and we will all see each other on the moon. Cause it's the standard in this bitch, XRP. Okay. I went to YouTube University, and now they mocking me. With no degree, we say about a swift. Keep it walking, we smoking elders in these bushes. Bitcoin is talking. You don't have to be rich to be taking uh, advantage of this. This was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth the world has ever fucking seen since World War II. Blockchain, blockchain. We talking about an intellect, your choo choo train. It's the OT up in these streets, man. That's why we rip all on that blockchain. Blockchain.